to measure current will it introduce error in the reading yes, it will be there so th this you keep in mind okay similarly now uh, the old meter construction of old meter so what is the old meter is a device used to measure voltages then already we have galometer why we can't use so what is again what is the problem with the galometer ig into g so what is the value of ig i picked up so let's assume 10 milliampere this one and this having 100 100 ohm so what is the maximum value of this one volt anything more than one volt the galometer cannot measure but practically what happened? I do come across the wide varieties of voltage, you know, 1 volt, 2 volt, 5 volt, 10 volt, 40,000 volt, 1 lakh volt, or 5 lakh, 10 lakh volt. So definitely what happened? I, I, I need an instrument which can measure high voltages here. <laughs> so the galometer cannot help us. Just plain galometer will not help us. So therefore, I am going to modify this galometer. So what I am going to do now? Conversion of galometer to voltmeter. For that, the galometer, I'll pick up a galometer. Again, this is 0 to 10 milliampere. The voltage which I'm going to measure here, I'll connect a, a resistance in series. Now, what is the value of G and eight ohm? Now, what was the maximum permitted limit of galometer? One volt. Now, I want to measure, say, let it be 10 volt. So, this is a V max. I applied a potential difference. So, then the current will flow IG <coughs> plus minus. This will be plus minus. The current will pass through here. So, what is the value of V max? Applying KVL, V max equal to IG into G minus plus IG into RS. So we wanted value of RS here. So what is RS equal to V max minus IG into G by IG. So what is the V max now? I want to construct a galometer. I'll, I'll come later on this. I want to construct a galometer of range 10 volt. So let me start here. So first, I want to measure anything voltage from 0 to 10 volt. Not only 10 volt, 0 to 10 volt. So I'll substitute the formula. This should be 10 IG value. So this should be 10 into 10 to power of minus 3. G value is 100. 10 into 10 to power of minus 3. 10 minus 1, 9. So this will be 1000. 900 ohm. So what is the, how, how the construction? The construction will be like this. This is the The voltage, how much is being applied? 10 volt is applied. Then there are two scales are there. One, galometer scale. This will be 0, 5, 10 milliampere. Then I'll bring <coughs> the old meter scale. 0, 5, 10 volt. When I apply 10 volt, the current that will flow here will be equal to IG. And how much of current will flow? 10 milliampere. One resistance in series. What is value of G? We assumed it to be 100 ohm. And what is value of this? 900 ohm I connected. Then here IG value will flow. Then where the pointer? The pointer will be pointing at 10 volt.
if I apply five volt, what, what conditions will arise? The same thing. We designed this for. I, I apply five volt. No, no. Let, let me apply. I apply ten volt. No, if I apply five volt, what conditions will arise here? It looks very simple topic. You check the advanced paper. No, very good number of questions, especially the second part of this one, KCL, KVL. Ammeter, voltmeter, potentiometer, uh, meter bridge, then post office box. Very less problems or hardly nothing about the resistive networks. You have to be very careful about the picking the content. At least not you know, the final exam. No, what revise is something very important. The last moment what you revise plays a major role, especially the chapter like resistors. No, so you should focus more on the instruments and the basic Ohm's law. I applied 5 volt. So how much of current will flow here? The current that will flow here will be 5 milliampere. And I'll show it some 6 volt. 6 milliampere will flow. The resistance value I didn't change. The same it was 900 ohm. Then where the pointer? Pointer. So this will be the, we designed it for 0 to 10 volt. No? So this will be 0, 5, the pointer will be at 6. Now which scale I should look here? Which scale? The, the voltmeter scale naturally the voltmeter scale is what I should look at. So what is this green color one is the voltmeter scale. Don't think that only 10 volt it can measure anything 0 to 10. If you apply 4 volt here, if you apply here 4 volt, 4 milliampere will flow, the pointer will come at 4 milliampere. Then look at the voltmeter scale, it's reading 4 volt. So what we are doing, we are just making the galvanometer to read now the higher voltages. Uh, see, look at the trick, how they have made observation and brought it here. Uh, Sir, so like a, what is the maximum voltage across galvanometer? 1 volt, no? But how much we are applying 10 volt? So will the galvanometer will not get damaged? This for the question. So let, let's see that if you apply six milliampere, so how much of drop will be here? You know enough of the KVL that one or potential divided formula. The remaining how much? Five point four volt will drop here. Check it now. When you apply six volt, zero point six will drop the remaining 5.4 volt will drop here if you apply 10 volt one volt will drop here the nine volt will be here this will be the potential uh, is it safe is it galometer safe yes no no problem so i'm not going to damage by applying large voltage the galometer is not being damaged and we are also using it to measure higher voltages but what is the thing i should construct a scale so what i do is like what is the scale scale will be painted by something no so i'll, I'll don't go for two scales in the given scale only <laughs> i'll take a paint i'm writing 0 5 10 i'll write 0 5 10 volt very short then the same instrument now will become 
it can is able to read the higher voltages so now you can see what all what all the in place of galvanometer whenever you see the old meter no what you see a galvanometer in series with i resistance so therefore the internal resistance of old meter internal resistance of old meter it should be rv should be equal to g plus rs this will be internal resistance of old meter so what do you expect internal resistance of old meter should be very large <laughs> because rs will be large value of 900 you check it okay this is this is about the construction of old meter let's go for practically let me use let me use this in circuit what what are the troubles it will introduce this is a 5 volt this is r1 2 ohm r2 3 ohm no no let's measure practically theoretically we know what is the drop the expected drop here how much it will be v2 and this drop we are interested v2 so from potential divider formula v2 is equal to e into r2 by r1 plus r2 e is how much 5 r2 is how much 3 by 3 volt 3 volt is what theoretical value now let me introduce an old meter let me introduce an the old meter to measure that particular drop across this resistor r2 this r1 so what is the resistance of this 3 ohm this is 2 ohm so where where i should measure across these two points so i am going to connect that old meter and there is a method of showing that we have connected an old meter and every old meter will happen will have internal resistance Now the internal resistance of old meter let this be equal to say one ohm. I'll, I'll take it three ohm huh, for calculation purpose. The, what is that uh, R V internal resistance of old meter? Now practically, how to what all this particular cell? It will see R one, R two, and also even the R. So earlier there was a current I was flowing, so now a different current I dash after flow. So these are the terminals across which I introduce old meter A B. So how you have to connect? Where you are measuring potential? There across the terminals the old meter should be introduced, not in series in the branch. So how you have to connect the old meter directly? You have to come and connect across the terminals where you are measuring across points A and B I measuring. So there you connect the old meter. Then what is the effective the the circuit the current expression for I dash will find out. So three ohm parallel to three ohm will be one ohm, three ohm. So this EMF is five volt. So then what is I dash value? Oh. This is the old meter. I dash should be equal to two plus one, five by three. Ampere. Then, what is the reading of old meter? What is the reading of old meter? That one. The current I dash will flow, so we'll, we'll calculate the one, or, or directly we'll calculate the VAB. We can use another formula, VAB equal to one into what is the effective of R V and R two? I'll write directly the formula: E into the effective resistance R2 RV by R2 plus RV by R1 R2 RV by R2 plus RV. Because how RV and how, how the resistance of voltmeter and the resistor R2 they'll be in parallel. So substituting this, this will be 5 volt. This bracket term is one. 
sir i dash should be 10 by 7 sir uh, okay okay this 5 volt 3 ohm 3 ohm will be 3 by 2 ohm no this is uh, 10 by 7 this will be 3 by 2 r1 is 2 plus this will be 3 by 2 anybody value vab 15 by 7 15 by 7 or 2.1 now you see that there's a practical no reading of old meter what 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 was expected from old meter it should read 3 volt no we expected it to read 3 volt but how much reading 2.1 volt so the very purpose of old meter why do we brought we brought it so that it can measure the actual drop what was the actual drop 3 volt but how much it is reading 2.1 volt so therefore now uh, where is the problem is there any error percentage error so again percentage error error should be equal to v2 minus vab by into 100 like this the percentage error in measurement of voltage by the voltmeter we are calculating so these are the some problems what we are encountering so how to minimize this error definitely there must be certain uh, like a method so instead of this old meter of resistance 3 ohm if i have brought the old meter of internal resistance 100 ohm or say 30 ohm <laughs> then what will be the effective resistance will be near to 3 ohm then the error will get minimized no so therefore uh, what is a good old meter the one which will have very high internal resistance so what is the uh, means like a how to how to make error zero totally then when old meter of infinite internal resistance if old meter of infinite infinite internal resistance will come then the error will be zero infinity parallel to 3 ohm will be 3 ohm only are, are you getting this one so therefore what is the ideal old meter ideal volt meter internal resistance rv will be infinity practical volt meter open rv will be some larger value so therefore now ideal volt meter possible ideal volt meter possible not possible that one we can't do anything that one just only on paper it is ideal volt meter internal resistance will be infinity internal resistance of i'll write statement again rv symbol you may get confused internal Resistance of idle old meter is infinity. Okay, fine. This one. So, but usually what happens practically, we don't get that ideal. So, therefore, practically, what I should do to minimize error? What is the best practice? Again, the internal resistance of old meter should be one tenth or should be ten times of the point the resistance of point across which you are connecting so where i'm connecting i'm connecting across point cb what is the resistance across these two uh, points 3 ohm so what should have been the resistance of volt meter if it were 30 ohm it's fine practically it's acceptable the error is acceptable so again what we have to make a rule the resistance of to minimize error The resistance of old meter must be 10 times of resistance of points across which it is connected. So, this again one rule we are making it. Okay, getting this one. So that, say we can't get ideal, but at least what happened if I bring a resistance of like a old meter resistance, a old meter whose internal resistance is 30 ohm, good. So I'll connect 100 ohm here. Instead of this, I'll bring, it's still more good. Still more the error will be, worst case what happened, at least it should be 
10 times of the point across connected. But there's a rule, it's a convention what we follow in the lab, possibility of asking. In the books, they didn't mention. You check it, this particular thing, no? The resonance of voltmeter must be 10 times of resonance of point across which it is connected to minimize error. This is a rule what we follow in the lab. Hmm? So can be asked for you in exams. You have to, in, in books, open, they didn't mention this. Thing. But in a lab, what happened, I do follow this particular basic rule. So any voltmeter which is there in the cupboard, I should not pick up. First, I should know the circuit, where I'm going to connect, and what is the resistance across that points. I must have a basic idea. Then I should pick up voltmeter, which should follow this particular condition. OK, got this. So here. Uh, the drop across the internal resistance of old meter is what? The reading of old meter. The current to internal resistance of emitter will be the reading of emitter. So what is your entire problem solving? Where all emitter, old meter is there? If they say ideal, what you should do with emitter? Replace with short circuit. What you should do with old meter? Ideal, ideal, ideal old meter, open circuit. If it is a, if it is a, say, like a practical, then replace with internal resistance. Then current to internal resistance of emitter is reading of emitter. The drop across internal resistance of voltmeter will be the reading of voltmeter. Th these are some rules which I'm going to follow it. So the rest of what we do is 